They come from all across the world, from many different lands. The brave from Britain, the confident from America, the determined from Japan, and anyone else, anywhere else, who wants to step up to the challenge. 100 challengers compete across a four-stage obstacle course devised by the devil. Success means glory. Failure means humiliation. It truly is win or die. Many have tried. Very few have succeeded. But they all have one goal: to become the next champion. This is Ninja Warrior of Halo. Hello guys, Hunter Unit 751, and welcome back to Ninja Warrior of Halo. The 20th Stage 1 in this course's history is over. 100 challengers came to take on the course, including several Blast From The Past competitors. But while some fell well short in this tournament, others stepped up and delivered. In the end, 91 of the 100 challengers were defeated by the first stage, and we have 9 competitors still standing. These 9 challengers are DHG Fireball, The Grand Champion Smoky Massacre, Newcomer Black Chris, Elite MKB, Alpha Puma, Strafe Helix, Flame Vortex, Swantron, and Ump Double Ump. For these nine challengers, they are the heroes in this 20th tournament. But now, they must gather themselves to step up once again for their next challenge, the second stage. This second stage has had a couple of modifications made to it since the last tournament, but it begins, as usual, with the downhill jump. We then head on to the iconic Salmon Ladder, arguably the toughest obstacle on Stage 2, followed by the Stick Slider. Competitors then face the brand new Swing Ladder, where they have to get from one side of the pond to the other, using only the ladder that rotates in both directions. They then take on the Unchanged Metal Spin, and finally, the returning vehicle ramps, a classic Ninja Warrior of Halo obstacle back for this 20th tournament. If they can drive the Mongoose across the three ramps and hit the finish line, then they have completed the second stage. And if any of our survivors can do it within the tight 70 second time limit, then they will advance to the third stage. Let's hear from our nine competitors now to see how they're feeling. Uh, feels good. Uh... The body stopped failing the fifth obstacle now, hopefully. Um, I've tried my best and hopefully be able to play the second stage as well. Yeah, man, you know, I'm so proud to be on stage two, man. I'm one step closer from escaping the hood. It's going to be so good, man. I can't wait to get in that white neighborhood. Uh, I definitely have the ability to beat the stage. It's just if I do it or not, I think the salmon ladder could definitely easily take me out. But uh, if I get up that, I think I have a pretty good shot of beating this stage. Last time I was on stage two, I was horrendously inexperienced, and I was pretty, pretty bad. And um, I'm not really bad anymore, so if I fail the salmon ladder, it's going to be a complete objective failure. The swing ladder, I'm very worried about. And the metal spin, I failed it last tournament, so I'm a little bit worried, but I think if I can get to it, I'll... It feels good to have made it back to the second stage again, and for the tenth time. And, and it's pretty cool to be of such an exclusive club at the moment. Although I think many more people will come and join very in the near future. Uh, it's exciting, but I definitely... My big goal is getting back to stage three, and I believe I can do that. Yeah, the second stage has uh, some tough obstacles on it. I mean, the same line is always tricky. That head slide thing is kind of kind of scary. Uh, that swing, so that kind of middle section is uh, definitely the toughest part. Uh, there's no like the salmon ladder. I, I've had time to practice it since I failed it in 18, so I feel like I've got a really good chance at it. If I if I had to pick one obstacle that I think would take me out, yes, it would still be the salmon ladder. But uh, there, there's there's a few obstacles on here that could prove to be tricky. I just think that. Uh, 
I think if I beat the same letter, I'm beating this stage, but watch me fail something else stupid now. Stage 1's finish line. In 20 tournaments of this course's history, only the most skilled, the fastest, and the most fortuitous have ever reached it. Nine competitors managed to reach it in time to advance to the second stage in Tournament 20. The question now is, how many of these nine will have what it takes to advance to the third stage? In two previous Halo 5 tournaments, only four competitors have beaten this stage. In the last tournament, only one man out of 100 was able to make it past this round. How many of our nine challengers will have what it takes to do it today? Who will have what it takes to step up once again? And whose journey will end here in the second stage? Who will rise and who will fall? Our first of the nine challengers is making his way up the ramp to the start line to prepare himself for his run. Will he set the precedent? and get us off to a good start, or will his journey end here? First up on stage two is Strafe Helix, the competitor formerly known as Vulcan1610. This is Strafe's fifth appearance on the course, with his debut coming all the way back in Tournament 15. And on his debut, he did pretty well, making it to the fifth obstacle, the Jump Hang, before crashing out. His second appearance in the final Xbox 360 tournament did not go according to plan though, as a risky technique on the rolling ball did not work. He missed the MCC tournament but was back for Halo 5 where he has continued his spree of fifth obstacle fails, first going out on the spinning log before then failing the half pipe attack in the last tournament. It meant Strafe was 0-3 on the fifth obstacle of stage 1 and he had to come up with a new game plan. Coming into this tournament, he trained hard, and today it paid off. Not only did he finally manage to get past the fifth obstacle, but he managed to get all the way to the finish line and complete stage one for his first time ever. Now that Strafe has got that monkey off his back, the question is, will he have what it takes to defeat the second stage on his first try? Strafe Helix Vulcan one of the Xbox 360 competitors, now stepping up on the Xbox One. 70 seconds for six obstacles as he makes his way down the downhill jump and times the jump very nicely. And heading on to the Salmon Ladder. This is a truly tricky obstacle. You cannot take this obstacle for granted. He's spring jumping his way up. Gotta make your way up the ladder. The ledge is getting thinner and thinner and he's done it very nicely. Onto the stick slider. He jumps into the head slide. Doesn't make the same mistake that Gotenks did in the last tournament, but he goes too fast and he can't get out of it. And that is the end for Strafe. What the? He didn't try. I didn't even Oof. jump. I didn't even crouch into it. All went fast. That was weird. He thought it was weird, but that is just the simple trick with that stick slider. You've got to go slow, otherwise, you won't be able to get out of the head slide. That means we can move on to our second competitor and the newcomer that stunned us all on stage one. As he makes his way to the start line with his gang, his posse, his bros. This is the newcomer, Black Chris. It's time for his, uh, his gang to disappear as he smacks them out of the way. This is the newcomer making his first appearance and making it to the second stage on his first try. What an incredible performance. He cleared stage one with 32 and a half seconds left. Easily the fastest any newcomer has ever cleared stage one. But how's he going to do on stage two? Oh, no, it's over already. What just happened? Black Chris is out. Just two seconds into the run. Take a look at this as the tank fires. The platform that you go on to get down the downhill jump, he falls backwards straight into the water. Look at this again. He moves backwards. He moves to the back of the platform. You have to stay on the front of it. Otherwise, when it launches forward, it will shoot you off the back. And that's exactly what it's done. 
this incredible newcomer who excelled so brilliantly on stage one is out straight away on stage two. His gang is gutted. That means Black Chris is going to be heading back to the hood. Well, after that shocking early exit, we can move on to a real contender now. This is DHG Fireball. This is Fireball's second time on stage two. The first time he made it in tournament 18, he cleared this stage on his way to reaching the cliffhanger. He's off now and he stays on the front of it. It's a little bit janky and he almost jumps a little too early, but he gets away with it and now heading back to the salmon ladder. He finished tied for first place in tournament 18 and he cleared stage one with the fastest time today, 33 seconds left. He's using a combination of uh, spring jumps and just normal jumps to get up the salmon ladder and he's done it once again as he throws himself into the stick slider but he goes too fast as well he crouches but it's to no avail and fireball is out on the stick slider as well let's take a look at this in tournament 18 he did the same technique he threw himself into the stick slider and he managed to get out but this time around the technique did not work he threw himself into the head slide but like Strafe, he was going too fast. He crouched, but it was to no avail as Fireball was unable to get out of the head slide. The crowd watching on. Snaz is there. Watched Fireball not make it. The speedster, the man who's renowned for his speed in an ironic twist of fate, has been eliminated because he went too fast. DHG Fireball will not be heading back to stage three in this tournament. He's out, and that is two competitors out already on the stick slider. That's now three men up, three men out, and six competitors left to run. This second stage is picked up right where it left off from both of the last two tournaments. Our next competitor heading to the start line. Does he have what it takes to break through this stage? Next up on stage two is Swantron97, the competitor formerly known as Sauron Sucks. This is only Swan's third appearance on this course, but he has already made quite the impression in a short space of time in Halo jumping. On his debut in Tournament 18, he became the first ever competitor to clear stage one on this course on Halo 5, and that is not the only first time success he has had. On Spartan Sasuke, he became the first ever competitor to clear stage one in that course. And with the exception of a couple of missteps, Swan has established himself as one of the most successful competitors of all time in that course's history. And that culminated in him making it all the way to the final stage in tournament 13 of that course. Add into that that on just his second appearance on Halo Ninja Warrior, he made it all the way to the third stage, and Swan is undoubtedly one of the rising stars in Halo jumping and one of the best competitors to come out of Halo 5. The only other thing that Swan was missing was hosting his own course, and that's exactly what he's done, establishing his own major jump course, Aborigines Warrior, where he's provided many iconic moments. Can, can we just agree right now that like we don't care about this tournament at all? We could have just skipped to this one. Recapture the magic of... What the <laughs> fuck? Are you serious right now? Are you kidding me? How does that happen? How do you let it get that out of control? That you cannot perform a basic obstacle to that freaking low of a level? How do you do so bad in your entire life that you manage to go backwards on an obstacle where it is virtually impossible to do so? Now Swan is back on stage two today. He's looking to get some revenge on the Salmon Ladder that took him out on his debut two tournaments ago. Will he have what it takes to get his revenge this time around and make it to the third stage for his first time ever? Swan Tron 97, like Fireball, back on stage two for his second time and his first since tournament 18. He has big expectations for himself today, 
Ooh, he almost jumps a little too early, just like a couple of other competitors have, but he also gets away with it. And now he's back to his nemesis, the Salmon Ladder. He was a novice, a newcomer, a complete unknown when he attempted this two tournaments ago. Now he has established quite the reputation for himself. And oh, he slips up on the last one. Can he get it this time? Yes, he can. Nice recovery. And he's on to the stick slider. We, he's taking it slower than the other two competitors did. He drops out of it and he clears the obstacle. And he's going to be the first to take on the new swing ladder. Got to make your way across the ladder and he's flying across it. Made it look like a piece of cake. Now for the metal spin, no problems with that as well. And he hits the vehicle ramps with 22 seconds left on the clock. Three ramps that get further and further apart. The gaps though aren't that big compared to how they used to be on Halo 4. This is more of a time waster obstacle now. He's got 10 seconds, the klaxon is sounding. He's got one jump left. Swantron 97 is going to make it to the third stage. He's done it with 3.1 seconds left on the clock. Swantron, Sauron sucks, has made it to the third stage. Third time's the charm for Swan. He got his revenge on the Salmon Ladder in style. He then crucially got past the stick slider that took out Strafe and Fireball. He had no problems with this new swing ladder. He flew across it from one side to the other. And then the metal spin that took out Flame in the last tournament was no trouble for him. And then he had enough time to make it to the finish line. The crowd watching on Snars and Bubba Ace are so happy for Swan. Snars is so happy, he's catatonic. He can't move, he's frozen with ecstasy. But Swantron, Sauron sucks, the co-host, one half of Aborigines Warrior, can now say he is moving on to Ninja Warrior of Halo's third stage. Well done, Swan. So we have our first man through. Can our next competitor join him? in stage three. Back on stage two for the third tournament in a row is the veteran Flame Vortex. Like Swan, Flame has established himself as one of the rising stars on Halo 5, although his jump career did start a little bit earlier than that. He made his jumping debut in Ninja Warrior of Halo Tournament 15 and Halo Ninja Warrior Tournaments 10 and 11. But on all three occasions, he failed to deliver, crashing out early on all three occasions and not really leaving much of an impression at all. Flame then took a two-year gap before returning to Halo jumping on Halo 5. And he has impressed ever since. On just his second appearance in Tournament 18, he stunned everyone when he cleared the first stage, and then he did it all over again in Tournament 19, when he was the first competitor to clear Stage 1, and ended up being one of only three competitors to clear the first stage in that tournament. The next big step for Flame, though, is to find his way past Stage 2. In Tournament 18, he was one of many competitors that failed the Salmon Ladder. And then in the last tournament, it looked like he was going to make it to the finish line, only to fall at the metal spin. Since competing in Tournament 19, Flame stepped up for Halo Ninja Warrior's 19th tournament and finally broke his Stage 1 losing streak on that course to make it all the way to the third stage. So, the question now is, can the competitor formerly known as MyMom47 pull a repeat trick and make it to the third stage for his first time in this 20th tournament? Flame Vortex. You know you are becoming a top competitor in Halo Jumping when you start to get talked about and when you start to get nicknames. Can the man known as the Donkey finally pull through? His third time in a row on stage two. Alongside Puma, he is one of only two competitors to have made it to stage two in every Halo 5 tournament so far. But he wants to go further than that. 70 seconds for six obstacles as he makes his way smoothly through the downhill jump. Onto the Salmon Ladder. Like Swan, he failed this two tournaments ago, but he beat it in the last tournament. He's also going for the spring jump technique. 
Flying up it very nicely, no problems at all. How fast you do this obstacle could determine whether you're going to clear the stage or not because of the tough time limit. He's through the stick slider, now onto the swing ladder. This was the obstacle he was worried about the most. He's going for a much slower approach than Swan did. Has to take a few save jumps though. Now making his way across the other side. The ladder is going to slowly start to drop, but Flame makes it through nicely. Now for the metal spin where he failed last time. He gets through it this time. And he's got 18 seconds left. Less time than Swan had for the vehicle ramps. He's got to hit these clean. Nicely over the first one. Nicely over the second one, the clacks and sounds. He's got a smoother technique than Swan did. And Flame Vortex finally gets through the third stage. 4.5 seconds left on the clock. Flame is heading to the third stage for his first time. Fireball and Rog, they're both out, and yet they're still celebrating. They're so happy for Flame. That is what the course is all about, camaraderie. Flame. Third time's the charm for him as well. Swan was able to pull through on his third appearance, and Flame was able to pull through on the second stage on his third time of asking. He lost a bit of time on the swing ladder, taking a slower approach. He had to get a crucial save jump here, but he pulled it off, and then he was cautious going up the climb. Had enough time to get off before the ladder dropped too far. He crucially got past the metal spin where he failed last time. And he had a much smoother technique than Swan did on the vehicle ramps to get to the finish line. And Flame is the 30th different competitor to reach the third stage. And he's done it in this 20th tournament. That now brings us on to our next competitor, back on stage two. It is Ump Double Ump. This is Ump's first time making it to the second stage on Halo 5. The last time he got this far was in the MCC tournament, Tournament 17, when he cleared. So how will he fare on Halo 5? 70 seconds for six obstacles. The godfather of Halo jumping is underway. He will now get his crack at the salmon ladder. He's taking it a little slow to begin with. Oh, he almost slips up right at the start! That could have been disastrous for him. But he makes it through. And now he's getting into his rhythm. It's a slower technique than others have had, but it is still effective at the moment. One jump left. Yes, he's made it. Up onto the stick slider. That's cost him some time, though. He's going to have to make up elsewhere. He's going slow, but he gets through the stick slider. Now for the swing ladder. Throws himself onto it, and he's going for speed as well, just like Swan did. Now for the middle spin. Look at the time, though. He's running out of time. He's on to the middle spin. He gets off it, but he's only got 12 seconds left for the vehicle ramps. The klaxon sounds. He's going for it. He's got a solid technique. It's looking pretty good for Rump. Can he pull through, though? Yes, he can. 1.2 seconds left on the clock. He flew through that vehicle ramps. He managed to do it in just over 10 seconds. And Ump Double Ump, the godfather of Halo jumping, succeeds on stage two of Halo 5 on his first time of asking. It almost went horribly wrong right at the beginning on the salmon ladder. But he got into a rhythm. It was a little bit of a slower rhythm. And that meant he had to make up time elsewhere on the course. He did that on the swing ladder. And then this vehicle ramps. The mongoose on Halo 5 means this vehicle ramps is all about technique. Um, his experience as a Halo racer and from doing this obstacle in the past pulled him through. And it means um, double um. We'll be heading back to the third stage once again. He's got a big crowd. Snars, Smokey, uh, Fireball, I think. Chris is there as well. And um is heading back to the third stage. And the success did not stop there, as Alpha Puma then took to the course. Our first place finisher in the last tournament, he was the only competitor to complete stage two in the last tournament. And his experience with this stage clearly paid off. He flew up the salmon ladder and through the whole course, which meant he had plenty of time left on the clock when he hit the vehicle ramps. 
and it's a good thing he did. His technique on the vehicle ramps was not the best we've seen, but it was good enough to see him get through the course. And it means Alpha Puma will be joining the others in the third stage, and he keeps his dreams alive of getting to the final stage in this 20th tournament. That now leaves us with two competitors left to go. Both are all-stars, both on stage two for their 10th times, and both looking for revenge on the Salmon Ladder that took them out the last time they both made it here in Tournament 18. The first of our all-stars is Elite MKB. He crashed out on the fifth rung last time around. Can he get his revenge on the Salmon Ladder this time around? The pro racer, ooh, he threw himself into that downhill jump and it almost didn't pay off. But he makes it work as he shoots straight into the salmon ladder. Our pro racer became only the third different competitor to reach sec the second stage ten times. Ooh, he's having a little trouble though. He's taking his time a little bit. He's up to the third one. Oh no, he drops back down. Oh, Elite, can he save it? Ooh, yes he can, only just. His technique is poor though. He hasn't got a strategy for this salmon ladder. He goes back up to the but he drops back down again and it's over for Elite. He is out on the salmon ladder once again. He is beaten on stage two. The third time in a row that he's reached stage two and he's gone out on this stage. He didn't get as far as he did the first time on the salmon ladder. He made it up to the third ledge but then he slipped back down and then when he tried to recover again, he just couldn't do it. He has not learnt the technique for this salmon ladder. As he got up to this third ledge, he was just hanging on the edge of it. And then he slipped all the way back down to the beginning. He saved himself once, but he couldn't save himself twice. And then Leeds, our all-star, is going to have to go back to the drawing board if he wants to get past this obstacle. Which brings us to our final competitor on stage two. Eight challengers have stepped up, four have cleared, four have failed. Are we gonna see more success or one more failure to add to the list of stage two wipeouts? This is our other all-star, number 100, the reigning champion himself, Smokey Massacre. Only the fourth competitor to ever reach stage two ten times. He went out on the last rung of the Salmon Ladder uh, two tournaments ago, and he is looking for revenge. Can he get it? 70 seconds for six obstacles. He's riding along the back of the downhill jump, but he gets through it, no problems. And now for the Salmon Ladder. In Smokey's defense, he was pretty solid at this obstacle when he attempted, attempted it two tournaments ago. It's just that slip up on the last rung, which he's coming up to now, which he's done it this time. Nicely done, Smokey, and he's quickly through the stick slider as well. That will calm his nerves as he makes his way to the swing ladder. He jumps to the second one. Nobody's done that so far, and he throws himself across the other side onto the metal spin. He has no trouble with that, and now the vehicle ramps with 28 seconds left on the clock. He's gotten here faster than Puma did, faster than anyone else did. He's got a solid technique. You watch this and you wonder why so many competitors struggle. But Smokey is through. 16.8 seconds left on the clock. What a performance by Smokey. You watch this and you really do wonder how competitors struggle with the second stage time limit. Because Smokey has just absolutely ripped it out of the park. He has smashed it out of the park. He clears the second stage in less than 55 seconds. What a fantastic performance by Smokey. Yet again on stage two. He is the master of stage two. Even if he did fail the Salmon Ladder last time. But he got his revenge on the Salmon Ladder this time around. And it was smooth sailing on that obstacle and on all of the other obstacles as well. He flew through the course, not stopping for breath at all. And his technique on the vehicle ramps was one of the best we have seen. And it meant he came home, heading back to the third stage. And Smokey, for the first time on Halo 5, 
is going to be taking on the third stage. And with that guys, the second stage is over. The remaining nine survivors from the first stage once again stepped up, but for four of them, their adventure is over in Tournament 20. All four were eliminated in the first half of Stage 2, with two of them taken out on the Stick Slider. But the remaining five challengers all got past the Stick Slider, and all were able to successfully reach Stage 2's finish line in time. From two competitors who cleared the second stage for their first time ever, to two veterans who will be once again heading back to the third stage, and we also have, for the first time on Halo 5, an Xbox One All-Star moving on to Stage 3. So five challengers are still standing. The Grand Champion Smokey Massacre got the fastest time by a country mile, and he is joined by Flame Vortex, who will be taking on the third stage for his first time ever, the only competitor to reach the third stage in the last tournament, Alpha Puma, is still in the game, Swantron97, who will also be taking on stage 3 for his first time, and Ump Double Ump once again brought up the rear. Now, these five challengers in the next episode will take on the might of the third stage. How far will they progress? How long can they keep their dreams of ultimate glory alive in this tournament? Are they all facing an inevitable defeat? Or will one of them have what it takes to write themselves into the history books and become a grand champion in Tournament 20? I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, like, comment, and subscribe. And you must join us again next time for the final episode of Tournament 20. Until then, guys, I've been HuntUnit751. We'll see you guys next time.